All right, guys, today we're talking about how you use captain tape as a build plate adhesion method. Really, this is the, uh, it's a very thin plastic sheet with adhesive on the back and it comes on these thick rolls so you get a lot of it and you can use it, uh, you can use one roll for a lot of different plates. Like we use this actually when we print ABS uh, to protect our glass plates so that when the ABS cools and the glass cools at a different rate, it doesn't break, it doesn't shatter. I actually have a love-hate relationship with this material because it works extremely well, but it is also extremely difficult to put on. I actually really like to print ABS, so this is what I like to use because it will not break your borosilicate glass because this will give way first, but as you will see, it's not the easiest thing to put on, but worthwhile. So we'll go into how to do that now. <sighs> So if you're gonna take your plate, you, I think the first thing you wanna do is take some water or some Windex. You can do this wet. You wanna do it wet. It, there it's, is it's easiest the wet to method is the best method. You can get all the bubbles out. All you're right. gonna do it alone. Get one corner. This is no joke. This is how much of a pain it is. Yeah. <laughs> I'll center out the plate. And I'll yeah, just center out the plate. get it right in there. If We're looking pretty good and I'm gonna squeegee spit on. Okay. All right, we're good. Just use your hand. Just use your hand. All right. I think it's better to use the hand. Oh, yeah. Sometimes. I know, yeah. All right, now you got, yeah, pallet tape. And you want to push it all off. Right. That's the only way to get the bubbles out. Oh. The water lets it move around. Let's cut it. To get the bubbles and the creases out while you're doing the application. So if you don't use the water, it'll just Thick. Oh, there we go. All right, now the whole thing's saturated and wet. Let it sit, let it sit, hang on. So a really big tip is to cut it about two inches away from the roll, because then you can fold over that into the roll and you can actually unroll it again. If you don't do that, if you cut it right next to the uh, the roll, that's then, why I always see these like this. Right. Ah, yeah. uh, if you don't do it next to the roll, then you risk having it split. Hang on. Yeah. You risk having it split like at an angle, you know how like tape sometimes, packing tape, it'll be that long thing, you can never find the edge again. Same thing will happen with captain tape. So try to give yourself some slack, fold it over, give yourself some extra room. All right, so now, what's next? Well, if you don't have a squeegee, use this, let's... Okay, I should find the squeegee. Yeah, yeah, yeah. there we go, there we go. Now, you gotta wanna be careful because... It's so sticky. It, it did just peel over onto itself right there. Um, so that can happen sometimes, we can just cut that off. But the other thing is, while it's still wet, there's still water under there. You need to squeegee everything out and it can like lift at the corners and stuff. So what we like to do is we like to actually go all the way over the edges of the plate oh, yeah. sometimes. You gotta get that water out. Get that water out. But once you get that water out, it's pretty much gonna start setting. There you Razor go. blade, let's go. Cool, like that, very good. And then try to try it. to pick it up. Or oh, we're gonna wrap it around the edges. All right. Yeah. Oh, okay. well, we'll do that first time. <laughs> okay, now, okay, so right here you can see there's still some bubbles and whatnot. So we're gonna try and maybe squeegee a little bit out, but before it peels up from the edges and sticks to itself, we wanna wrap it around the other side of the plate. And then you can leave this on sometimes or you can cut it off once it dries a little bit better and you squeegee everything out. So you're gonna do one side. I'm gonna try and squeegee this. It is really easy to cut too, so if you're too too crazy with the palette knife or whatever you're using, you can you can actually puncture it. Which usually isn't a big deal, but all right. So there we go. Now, if you can see there's bubbles all over the place. It's just kind of a pain in the butt. So what I'll end up doing most of the time is I'll actually cut along the very edge once it's fitted and it's flat and all that stuff. And then I don't have to worry about the bottom parts, but I have a perfectly fitted piece of captain, right? So then you go and you, uh, do your best job to get all those bubbles out. All right, so I've got a fold over right here, and so I'm gonna ahead, go ahead and cut this. Now, if I go from the edge, you'll notice it sort of bows up right there. So I'm gonna actually start inside from the edge. Uh, it still does, it. it's still kind of a pain, but 
I'm just gonna go there, got that, and then it'll tear itself on the other side. And I got a pretty clean edge there. Hopefully I'm not printing that close to the edge, so that should work just fine. Okay. It's worth it. This will save a $40 to $80 glass plate. Uh, you won't have to replace it. This will keep it from chipping, pulling chunks out, yeah. cracking it, all that stuff. This is like really good. If you're printing ABS, ABS is so just strong. use Captain or something else like BEI or any kind of bed coating really for ABS. And you'll notice there's usually still little bubbles and little bumps. Sometimes a piece of dust will get stuck in there. Most of the time, it's not enough to ruin your print and you can get away with it. So what I like to do if I'm alone, is I either have this on a stationary roller so I can just pull it out and then apply it. But while I'm here, if I don't have that, I'll pull out more than I need. Hope to God it doesn't stick to itself. Put it down on the table. Oh. <laughs> How Rob does it? Leave that out. The pull method and the Rob method, and we'll, they'll vote who they so, you can do this, and then you can cut it off real quick. And then you can shorten this side so you can actually move it around a little bit. And then you just play with it. A lot of water in there. Remember, I had a lot of the Windex in there. And you just gotta finesse it and work with it for a while until it, until it works out. So, there we go. If you can get a big squeegee, buy one. Buy one. Oh, that was so much easier. <laughs> yeah. Don't even bother doing this until you buy one of these on Amazon. <laughs> uh, what is that brand? 10 inch, 254 millimeter taping knife. It's a taping knife. It's a plastic oh, taping yeah, there knife. Oh yeah, you go. That'll make life easier. Yeah, yeah. Google search. it. Man, all right, we'll try to put a link in the description. We'll try to get some of these so you can, you guys can just buy it off our site. Uh, That's a good um, idea. Uh, just the little things, you know, we're here to help. With the stuff on our site that we sell is stuff that we oh. use, like, and we're getting more and more stuff up there just to help everybody there out. We go. Bada bing, wow, this is perfect. And that is nicely applied. And once See, that this, dries, that's not going anywhere. You're right. The way I like to do this is if you are going to be alone is to utilize the end of the table, apply it like that. That way you don't actually have to hold it. Then I will put some Windex or water. It doesn't matter. Windex I find usually tends to, I'm just peeling it, give you a little bit more time to work. And then I will spray the underside of this as well just once just a little bit spray the adhesive side of the adhesive the cabinet. side exactly oh nice i don't even worry about this right now yep i will then cut it if you can see this i'll do my best Boom. I'll take that. Exact right on the line. Almost flush. I'll do it right here too. Ooh. God, that's good. So now both ends are cut flush. That only leaves you with the option to go in one direction. Get all those bubbles out. Now you can go in either direction. Work it slowly, patiently. I don't want to lift it again. Has it already started setting? Yeah. I want a little more time. As long as I don't. So I'm going to do this as if we were, I was doing it alone. If you fold it over, yeah. Spray it a little I'll bit do more. It clean. Make sure you have enough lubrication in there. It helps a lot. Water, Windex, whatever you got. Glass cleaner. It's ammonia based cleaner. It's water, ammonia, probably some other stuff. Well, a little bit of red or blue 40, you know, I don't know. 
This is not, you'll see it, I'm proud and I stand by my method. These are not water bubbles. Those are like, dust. Uh, dust bubbles? Bends. Oh, and oh. The folds. Folds marks. Yeah. But, so you're pr applying a lot of pressure with the microfiber towel to get anything else yeah, extra Yeah, then I just out. walk away and let it dry. And that also catches any of the extra moisture, and any of the extra water, or Windex or whatever, on the edge when you put it out, it catches it in the towel a little bit. There we go. Then walk away, let it dry. When you print your first part and then you use the palette knife or whatever to take off your part, it can actually cause a little Go ahead, do it. Yeah. Like that. Right, so you can see right here, I nicked it with the palette knife, and now we get this little fold. It'll just spread. A lot of the times, you, you might be able to put it back down, or it might come off with the part, is more likely. It'll actually come off on the bottom of the part. So hopefully, it'll just give you a little patch right there. Now, if it's a really big patch, you can put another piece of Captain in there, or you can just leave it and print on it. Uh, it'll still probably be successful in printing, especially if you're using a, you know, like a, an adhesive, nail polymer, or, or glue stick, or anything like that. Um, it should be pretty good. I tend to not use blade, the blade, to get the parts off. I knock it. So if you got a part on there, because this stuff likes to tear really easily. So instead of going in and this is how you normally would get a part off, bang, 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 bang. I uh, trying to get under it and scratch like that. Boom. Oh. Oh no. Oh, it just hurts. I would just feet. hit the part tap it on the side until it wants to break free. Instead of digging in, just tap the part on the side. This stuff is already pretty sticky by its own nature, so you don't really need to use a lot of adhesive on it. It's just, it, it has great properties as it is. But if you do get a scratch in it while trying to get the part off, as you take the part off, you're gonna just pull so much with it and all your hard work <laughs> is gonna be over. So be delicate with it. And just try to tap the part off or pull the part off gently. Don't get in there and start digging around with a palette knife or, you know, yeah. this is what's gonna happen. Well, it's important to note that this captain won't actually work for high temperature materials like Peak, Ultim, uh, which is PEI or you know, PPSU, no. any of those. It'll just rip it kind of like blue tape rips ABS. Right, and it's a lot of it has to do with the heat. The temperature of the bill plate will just, it, the adhesive just doesn't stick anymore and it'll peel up. Plus the warping on those materials is so much more intense that it just doesn't stay down. So you need to actually print Peak and Ultim on a solid piece of material, whether that's carbon fiber, an ultra plate, or a silicate or ceramic glass, um, you won't be able to do that. And if you do need to do that, we actually have our nanopolymer adhesive, which we developed after getting tired of the glue stick method. Works great, just put it right on. It's really, really easy to do. It'll give you great adhesion. On normal materials, even on Captain, like with Captain, you'll still need to use a brim or um, you know uh, a wrap sometimes, but with the nanopolymer adhesive, you don't ever need wraps or brims or anything like that. It just sticks down. So whatever oh, you're using, um, all of that. this helps it. So we just went through the whole process. This is how easy it is. And you're done. Stick it in the printer, print, it's good to go. This does work well though. It does. And if you're using ABS, use the captain, even with the nanopolymer. Yeah, because this stuff is so strong that ABS, a lot of glass I mean, with I mean, ABS in our glue. Even glue stick will break glass when used with ABS. ABS is a dangerous thing. It is. So that's yeah. how you use and apply Captain Tape to your 3D printer bed. Use it for bed adhesion. If you got any questions, leave it in the comments below. Uh, we're more than happy to answer your questions. We love talking to you guys about all the crazy projects you're working on. If you have a good idea for how you apply this, because this seems yeah. like an art form, Whew. let us know because I'd love to know, <laughs> yeah. actually. And we should do a video on ABS because that's a whole oh. It's not even yeah. meant to be 3D printed, but anyway. <laughs> it's awesome. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Have a positive rest of your day, and we'll see you on the next video. If you want a sample of this stuff, we'll actually send you a sample. Just hit us up, uh, check out the website. We've got samples, little jars of it. Uh, more than happy to let you try it out.